Hi friends. Welcome to 30 Inks 30 Days, day 13. Um uh, Here's this thing. We haven't looked at it maybe. Looking good. We'll scroll scroll forward everybody. We're going to scroll forward. What the heck? Here is Gorio Celadon. And I did not do my writing with this yet, so I cannot speak to it, but, you know. However, here's this beautiful week. Let us turn to a new page. And week. today's ink is going to be King Lear. Um, let's find a pin for King Lear. Today's kind of a sad day. I'm not filming this on the day, so hopefully it's actually the 13th. Have an okay day. This is the day I think of as my brother's death anniversary. <laughs> Which is totally a word, right? Um, still miss him. Sure, I always will. So my question is, do I want a broad nib or not? And I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to put this in. Wow, this pin has been giving me trouble. Do I really want to do that one? Put it in the one that hasn't been giving me trouble. Roll away, little pen. Put this in my Twisby Go um, smoke. I think it's called smoke. Um, wait, did I? This is. It's fine. <laughs> Better. This is actually today's ink. <laughs> like the other ink, which was yesterday's. Um, I think this year is 19 years. Um, okay. Let us do this first. Come on. Cooperate, please. I never know how my mood will be on the actual day. Sometimes it's like fine and sometimes I am less fine. <laughs> As one might expect. So this ink has, is like, I don't know if you see, it's kind of to me, like a, I don't know, I almost think of it as a dark sage. And get out of there. And the shimmer looks red to me. Perfect, filled right real well from there. Did you see it fill from there? Did you miss it? I missed it too. I guess, I guess for y'all, I'll just go ahead and put it in here. I gotta shake it one more time though. Right now I am like deep in the, I wanna make a dress for an event and struggling to think of the perfect dress because of course there is no such thing as the perfect dress except in my mind 
where it, it doesn't exist either. It's not like in my mind I can see the perfect dress and I just need to put it into fabric form. Um, I'm just struggling. I can't envision it. I'm, I'm like almost thinking of just making a fourth version of a dress I already have because obviously I like the first three, but that feels excessive, you know, like, come on. So trying to find a different dress I want to make. Blessing and curse of making your own clothes. Okay, so let's write this on here. This is, can you see this? Yeah. Wearing goal, King Lear. I don't think I've read King Lear. I read Othello, Macbeth, Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet. Um, probably much to do about nothing. I don't know, some other ones when I was like, I should read more Shakespeare. But not King Lear. You read King Lear? Let me know. Do you like, if you have, do you like King Lear? I mean, not as a person. Well, if you, you know, you can answer that. If you know King Lear is a person, feel free, but I meant as a play. Um... The thing about reading Shakespeare is it's not meant to be read, right? It's it was their plays; they're meant to be seen, to be acted. Readings thirty days, November twenty twenty three, day thirteen. Oh, a little heart there for my brother. Uh, ink. Wearing goal, King Lear, Pen, Twisbeco, Smoke, Rodnib, Sometimes I think I might get like some tattoo or something to remind me of my brother, but then I'm like, Psh, I don't need a tattoo to remember him. I got pictures all over the place. Might do it anyway. Somebody once was like, I don't like tattoos. And I was like, yeah, I was thinking of getting this tattoo because they were like trying to say how like, you never know, you might not want a tattoo anymore. And I was like, oh, but I kind of was thinking of this and then they shut up. <laughs> because like for real, number one, like do what you want with your body. Sort of a riff on the Lady Gaga song. But number two, also do what you want with your body. Man, what's interesting is like, yes, you can see some of that red in there already. Today's a weird one, huh? <laughs> this is still wet, y'all. This is still wet. That's how juicy that was because I just inked it. Can you see it? It looks blurry to me, but maybe that's just because my glasses are up close and personal. I'm going to blot this so we can do the calendar page. Perfect. Nope. Perfect is the enemy of done. That's good enough. I kind of think that November and December are the, are the toughest times of the year for a lot of people. But maybe that's because that's like my own lens of I don't, I also don't like the weather this time of year it makes me sad. I don't like the lack of sun. 
because I'm in the northern hemisphere. If you're in the southern hemisphere, do you also have like that kind of issue in, um, I guess the corollary would be June. I bet it's a thing. You may not be surprising to you. I've seen a lot of studies coming out of uh, Scandinavia around um, seasonal affective disorder or the winter blues or seasonal depression, whichever, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't surprise me because, boy, do they get a lack of sun certain times of year. So here's King Lear. Here's the month so far. Almost halfway. Can you believe it? Flying by. It doesn't feel like it's been half a month. So, King Lear. I almost feel like I should read this. But, like, what? I'm going to read it in a day? Maybe I will. I'll let you know. <laughs> I probably won't. <laughs> Maybe I'll read the Cliff's notes. Maybe, no. You know what I'll do? I'll read the Wikipedia article. <laughs> Then we'll pretend I've read the play. <laughs> uh, hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Tell the folks that around you that you love them. Take care of yourselves. Bye.